Newman. Welcome to your first stop for the latest motor news. The Nissan Qashqai has become the UK's biggest selling sports utility vehicle, according to leaked figures from the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders. Qashqai has bucked the trend of plummeting SUV sales with a 10% rise in May. However, Nissan is furious over the figures as it denies that Qashqai is an SUV, saying three quarters of its sales are two-wheel drives and only a quarter are four by fours. The company has tried to avoid Qashqai being drawn into the controversy over SUVs. Sean Philip Rue, Nissan Motor GB's marketing manager, says Qashqai offers an alternative to the conventional hatchback. Customers love the presence and look of an SUV combined with the sleekness and smoothness of a passenger car. This is the essence of a crossover. A new launch from Lancia, the beautiful new Delta designed by the Lancia Style Center, combines the traditional elegance of a Lancia sports car with the interior of a saloon with a wheelbase of 2.7 meters. The Lancia Delta offers more than 1,000 customized combinations and will feature two new engines, 165 bhp 2-liter multi-jet and 190 bhp twin-turbo multi-jet as well as a 200 bhp 1.8 di turbojet. The launch of the car is planned for mid-2008 with right-hand drive models available early next year. A special edition Ford Fiesta ST packed with extra equipment is set to thrill Fiesta fans. Called ST500, it will be limited to just 500 and will be distinguished by unique styling touches and extras. The Fiesta ST is renowned for its punchy 2 litre 150 PS engine, sports tuned steering, lowered and stiffened sports suspension and short shift close ratio gearbox. The sporting heritage of the best Ford cars is carried on to this special edition with unique U-shaped stripes designed to echo the livery of the classic Escort RS2000 of the 1980s. The ST500's features include 17-inch 11-spoke black alloys, red brake calipers and carbon fibre pattern interior trim. The interior also features a Sony audio system and ebony leather heated seats. Following its most recent makeover, the G55 AMG from Mercedes is now even more attractive. Boasting upgraded performance, this off-road classic has also been given a fresh look, incorporating a reworked radiator grille and new 19-inch AMG light alloy wheels. Inside, the exclusive interior features the latest generation of telematics equipment and optional climatized seats in combination with designed leather upholstery. Unchanged is the vehicle's effortless performance, accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in 5.5 seconds and peaking at an electronically limited top speed of 210 km per hour. The upgraded G55 AMG also features improvements in the areas of safety and comfort and comes with an all new hill start assist. Kyoto University and IBM's Tokyo Research Laboratory have jointly developed a system that can simulate a broad range of urban transport situations, including millions of individual vehicles involved in complex traffic interactions, to predict what will happen if a new office building, sports arena or other major facility is built and improve planning of roads and public transportation. BMW Group Design have initiated a discourse about the characteristics of future cars by developing what they call the Gina Light Visionary Model. Gina standing for a car with geometry and functions in N adaptions. The two-seater Roadster has an almost seamless outer skin, a flexible textile cover that stretches across a movable substructure and functions that are only revealed if and when they are needed. Well, one nice thing about Gina is the materials kind of lead the way. It doesn't take very much and you get an idea exactly what this car is going to be like. Uh, for instance, to get an idea what the sculptural form is between a fender and let's say a wheel arch, you really only need a line around the wheels and a line more or less where you want the fender to be and you'll let the material do the talking in between. So in fact, the design team worked from sketches from the designer that said it more or less has this kind of a feeling, more or less this kind of emotion. But then at that point, they began to move rods and wires and pieces of uh, plastic tubing underneath a stretching skin until they got a shape they liked. And then just like you would if you were getting a suit made, you made the first mock-up, you made the first uh, forms and patterns, you sewed it up, you tried it out, made another one a little bit closer, and when you finally got the final one, zip, you put it on. It takes about two hours to put the skin on this car. That's all from the team here at Motor News for this edition. Thanks for watching.